Ever pondered over what SSRF vulnerability is? Well, SSRF or server-side request forgery is a type of security vulnerability that takes place when an attacker successfully manipulates or forges requests made by the server. This vulnerability paves the way for attackers to transmit crafted requests from the server, potentially accessing or manipulating resources that the server can access. Now, let's delve into the diverse types of SSRF vulnerabilities. Our first type is basic SSRF. This is the standard form where an attacker can directly dispatch requests from the server to access internal systems or resources that are not meant to be exposed. Next up, we have blind SSRF. In this case, the attacker doesn't directly receive the response of the SSRF request. However, they can still infer information based on differences in the application's behavior or timing. Then there's the type of SSRF that involves circumventing IP-based access controls. Some systems have IP-based access controls. Attackers can use SSRF to bypass these controls by making the target server send requests to its own internal systems. Filter bypassing SSRF is another type to be aware of. If input filters or security measures are in place to prevent SSRF, attackers may try to bypass these filters by encoding or obfuscating the malicious URL. Finally, we have CRLF injection or carriage return line feed. Attackers can inject CRLF characters into the SSRF request to manipulate the HTTP headers, potentially leading to attacks like HTTP response splitting. SSRF vulnerabilities pose a significant threat as they can allow attackers to bypass firewalls, access sensitive internal resources, conduct reconnaissance on the network, and potentially exploit other vulnerabilities that are only accessible internally. Preventing SSRF vulnerabilities involves a blend of secure coding practices, input validation, and robust server configurations. This includes validating and sanitizing user input, using whitelists for allowed URLs, and implementing proper access controls and firewalls to limit server access to internal resources. Furthermore, regular software updates and patches should be applied to mitigate known vulnerabilities. So, to wrap up, SSRF vulnerabilities are a serious security concern that can lead to unauthorized access and data breaches. By understanding the types of SSRF and how they work, one can better prepare and protect their systems from potential attacks. Stay aware, stay secure.